On February 13th, 1945, my grandfather, the 32nd president of the United States, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, ventured to the Great Bitter Lake along the Suez Canal. And he made history by receiving Egyptian King Farouk on uh, his royal entourage aboard the USS Quincy. The meeting between His Majesty and my grandfather that day highlighted not only how purchases of Egyptian cotton had supported the United States during World War II, but of also how Egypt and the United States might enhance their economic relations in the future. Just as important now as they were then, discourse, discussion, trade and investment, and people-to-people -people relationships uh, between, the, between Egypt and the United States continued to underpin our mutually beneficial relationship. American institutions in Egypt, such as the American University in Cairo, and others continuously strengthen our bonds of friendship and enhance the work uh, of America's diplomats in areas such as commerce, trade, defense, investment, and education. Today's invited guest, His Excellency Mohammed Abu el is a leader in the areas of business, trade, and investment, as well as in the polit political realm. He is a pioneer and a Renaissance man who labors tirelessly on behalf of his nation, its peoples, at the highest level of regional and international affairs. I am told that when called upon, he is known to many to quickly jump in his plane and fly around the world to advance Egypt's needs, interests, and concerns in business and political affairs. His Excellency Mohammed Abu El Enain is the founder and chairman of the Cleopatra Group, one of the largest investment companies in Egypt with ventures in agriculture, mining, real estate, tourism, media, technology, and aviation. His brand, Ceramica Cleopatra, is one of the world's largest producers of ceramics, and its products are exported to over 100 countries. His Excellency has served in the Egyptian parliament since 1995. He was chairman of the Housing, Public Utility, and Construction Committee from 2000 to 2005, and chairman of the Industry and Energy Committee from 2005 to 2011. He was just recently re-elected to the House of Representatives, earning 85% of the votes for his, from his district. In addition to his business interests and service in Egypt's parliament, His Excellency Mohammed Abu El Enain also served for two years as president of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Mediterranean, or also known as PAM. In, uh, it, it's an international organization consisting of 37 member countries along the Mediterranean Sea. In 2013, he was unanimously chosen as honorary president of PAM for life, as well as PAM's roving ambassador. Since, 20, since 2007, His Excellency has served as head of the Egyptian European Council, which strives to strengthen political and economic cooperation between Egypt and Europe. The Council's 300-member uh, organization include business people, university professors, current and former ambassadors, and parliamentarians from Egypt, Europe, and Asia. In 2001, His Excellency established the Abu El Alain Foundation, which works to improve literacy, social development, and health services in Egypt. He also serves as international business and economic consultant for the United Nations World Organization for Trade in Services, and is an accredited international and industrial arbitrator. His Excellency has joined, has been recognized internationally for his business success and innovations. Among the various awards that he's received are largest exporter to the Japanese market, the INPEX, Impacts Award for Creativity and Innovation, 
the Golden Ladder Award from Italy, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization Award of Excellence, and in May of 2018, the African Union's top industrialists in Africa. On behalf of the National Council in U.S. Arab Relations, we welcome His Excellency this afternoon. Of course, for him in Cairo, it's this evening, to the 29th annual Arab U.S. Policymakers Conference. His Excellency today has brought with him a short video that we're all going to watch together before having the opportunity to hear from him directly. Let's now watch the video. Thank you. 